All right, lesson 12.5, stock dividends. The objective is to compute the annual dividend and annual yield of a stock investment. A dividend is the money you earn as a shareholder of the company. Okay, a couple of formulas. Total annual dividend equals annual dividend per share times the number of shares. And the annual yield is the annual dividend per share divided by the cost per share. Press pause to get all this written down and press play to resume when you're ready. Okay, moving right along. Susanna Velasco owns 100 shares of Wagoneer Incorporated stock. The stock ranged from a low of 37.26 to a high of 52.86 last year. The annual dividend is $1.10. What is the total annual dividend? And what is the annual yield based on the high and the low? Okay, so we've got two questions here. The first question, part A, is what you take 100 shares times the dividend amount. 100 times 110 is $110. Okay, that is your annual dividend. Now, for part B, it asks you to find what is the annual yield based on the high and the low. Okay, so we're going to take the high price to find the annual yield first. You take the annual dividend of 110 divided by the high price of 52.86. Okay, plug that in your calculator. Calculator uh, 110 divided by 52.86, and you get the yield for the high to be 0 0.0208. You go ahead and carry these out to two decimals. Okay, so that is 2.08%. Okay, and now for the low price, you do the same thing. You take 110 divided by the low price for the year of 37.26. Plug that in your calculator. and you get 0 0.0295 which works out to be 2.95%. Okay? Let's go ahead and let's go to the uh, to the next problems on your homework. I believe it's problem number 1. Okay? Press pause, go ahead and work it out. When you're ready to see it worked out, press play. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Uh, Joyce Winock Winetka owns 150 shares of Higginbotham. Okay, 150 shares. Uh, the dividend is a buck 34 a share. So 150 times a buck 34 is 201. Okay, so 201 is our answer to A, the total annual dividend. Part B asks us to find the annual yield based on the low. Okay, so this is the low. Alright, my annual dividend is $1.34. My low price is $32.64. $1.34 divided by $32.64 is .0411 which works out to be four point one one percent. Okay. Part C asks us to find the annual yield based on the high. Okay, again my dividend is a dollar thirty four divided by my high of forty nine eighty eight. Plug that in your calculator and you get point zero two uh, six nine. Okay? That's 2.69% for your yield. Okay? Good job. Now, let's go on to the next example. Okay. Example two. Tom and Irene Zach own 400 shares of Bank of America stock. After the quarterly dividends are reinvested under their dividend reinvestment program, they own 405 shares. 
Bank of America is selling at $51 a share. Find the annual dividend per share and the annual yield for Bank of America. Okay, now, with this one, a uh, couple things that you've got to pay attention to. The biggest thing that you need to know is this is quarterly, okay? All right, and they're reinvesting their shares. Okay, so the first thing we need to find is how many shares did they get after one quarter of reinvestment? Well, real simple. 405 minus 400, okay, means that after the reinvestment, they increased the number, the amount of their uh, stock holdings by five shares. Okay? Now, once you know how many shares they increased by, you take that number, five times the price per share, which is $51, okay? Five times 51 is 255. Okay, $255 is the value of those five shares of stock that they got in one quarter. Okay, now this being quarterly, and we're trying to find the annual dividend, okay, we have to take 255 times four. Okay, now 255 times four is $1,020. Okay, so basically what that's saying is at the end of a, of a year, if the price of Bank of America stock stays at $51, they're going to have approximately $1,020 in extra assets just from dividends. Okay? Now, the question's asking us to find the annual dividend per share. Okay? So in order to find the dividend per share, think back to the formula that we've been using. The formula stated the total annual dividend is the annual dividend per share times the number of shares. Right? Okay. Now, if we know that 1,020 is uh, the total annual dividend, okay, and we know how many shares we originally owned, we owned... 400 shares, if I take 400 times X equals 1020, where X is going to equal my dividend per share. Dividend per share. Okay? Now, 400X equals 1020, divide both sides by 400. and you get X equals two dollars fifty-five cents okay so that's saying for every share they own they get two dollars and fifty-five cents in dividends alright now that's all just for part A okay part B of this question asks us to find the annual yield for Bank of America and our formula for the yield is the annual is the dividend per share divided by the price per share okay so take 255 divided by 51 and you get 0.05 or a 5% yield okay All right, let's go ahead and look at problem number two. Try to work that out, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and press pause. You work it out. Uh, if you need to go back and look at the other problem again, kind of step through it, go for it. Resume play when you're ready. All right, let us take a look at number two. It says, Elena and Arturo Sarmiento own 500 shares of Walgreens. After the quarterly, okay, so that tells me four, after the quarterly dividends are reinvested under their dividend reinvestment program, they own 501.055 shares. Walgreens is selling at $45 a share. 
Okay, find the annual dividend per share and the annual yield for Walgreens. Okay, so first thing we need to do is find out how many sh more shares we got in the quarter. Okay, 501.055 minus 500 means after the reinvestment, I got 1.055 more shares. Okay, now. 1.055 times the amount that each share is worth tells me how much money uh, the dividend was worth for the quarter. Okay? So that works out to be $47.48. Now, that's per quarter. So since that's per, per quarter, let's find out the yearly, 47.48 times 4. That gives me an annual dividend value of 189.92. Okay? Now, I'm going to let X equal my dividend per share. Okay? So... If I take the number of shares that I originally own, which is 500x equals 189.92, divide both sides by 500, and I get x to equal 0.37984, but this is in dollars and cents, so that's going to round up to 0.38 cents a share. Okay? So 38 cents a share is what my dividends are actually worth. Now, that was part A. Part B asks me to find the annual yield. Take your dividend per share of 38 cents divided by the price per share of $45. Okay? 0.38 divided by 45 is 0 0.00 Eight, four, which works out to be my annual yield is 0.84% yield. Okay? Hope you got that. If not, go back and look at it again. Just follow the steps. That's all you got to do. Follow the steps. Okay? Here's your assignment. Lesson 12.5, page 454. 1 through 11, 16 through 17. Lad DZ out.